So we're now going to try to do another calculation of the specific heat, another approximation here. Uh, the method here is called the, the Einstein method or the Einstein interpolation. And we're going to try to find the specific heat again. Uh, this time, instead of replacing omega is equal to ck, we're actually going to say that omega s of k is equal to some constant omega. Just, it's just constant. Then our specific heat, which is that partial with respect to temperature of the energy function, which we have here. Here's our oscillator function, again. Uh, we are going to, again, take the double sum and take the derivative with respect to t, h bar omega. And instead of omega s of k, it's omega e. And this is going to have this term after it too, of ns of k plus a half. Now ns again, the ns of k is equal to 1 over e, the beta, h bar, omega, s of k, minus 1. But if we just said, omega s of k is equal to omega e, well, then we've got this. e is beta h bar omega e minus 1. Well, the derivative of this won't do anything, so cv is going to be equal to the sum for k, sum for s. I'm going to have h bar omega e, and I'm just taking the derivative with respect to t of 1 over e to the beta h bar omega e minus 1. So what I've got here is Cv. It's going to be equal to h bar omega e, sum of k, sum of s. Now the derivative of this is going to be, I'm going to have e to the beta h bar omega e minus 1 minus 2 times e the beta h bar omega e times h bar omega e all over kb t squared. Now this is further going to simplify out and get cv. Now this is going to be equal to kb bracket beta h bar omega e and bracket squared e to the beta h bar omega e all over e to the beta h bar omega e minus 1 squared the sum of s, sum of k of 1. And this is because this has nothing to do with S or K. That has nothing to do with S or K. None of this has anything to do with S or K, which is super convenient. So now what I'm going to get is if I sum through K and I sum through S, then, well, K goes from 1 to N. And S goes from 1 to 3. So I'm going to get N and I'm going to get 3, so I'm going to get 3n. So here I'm going to have 3n kb of beta h bar omega e squared of e to the beta h bar omega e all over e to the beta h bar omega e minus 1 squared. And that is the Einstein interpolation of the specific heat.